Today we start some beef and hope we don't have to eat it too. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And joining us today is fellow expert food appreciator and star of How I Met Your Father, Josh Peck. Hey man, wow. give us one of these. Wow. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, 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 there we there. go. There, good. Yeah. All right, Josh, how do you feel about beef? I feel strongly about it. Oh, strongly. Yeah, what's not to like about beef, right? It has a lot to offer. Strongly positive yeah, about yeah. beef. I think, I think overall beef's a good thing. Okay. Good thing for all all right, of okay. Well, you seem to have uh, strong feelings about a lot of things, judging by your Twitter feed. <laughs> uh, specifically, things that you you find a little, maybe a little off-putting or annoying. Mm -hmm. well, check out this tweet here. Mm. Please don't make your water bottle your personality. Shots fired, Josh <laughs> Peck. I, I never leave home or anywhere without my water bottle. But in general, I agree with your beefs. Mm. Uh, here's here's another tweet from you. If your personality is your beard, okay, come on, shave it. Come, come, come. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You're on the right track. <laughs> Thank man. you, sir. I mean, back in July fourth, twenty twenty one. Listen, my beard is not my personality; it's my jawline. <laughs> okay, listen, I mean, you guys do good prep on this show. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah we, we just go to we just go to your Twitter. I mean, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Well no, done. I love the fact that you call people out on their annoying habits. I too get annoyed by things, mm. and I got a gripe to somebody. Right. I don't, maybe I don't have the guts to tweet about it like you do, so much respect. Thank you. I, I like to put my whole life out in public, and I've done it for years. Uh, all right. Yeah, we so we've that. actually invented a game around these beefs that you have. Yes. Mm. We're yeah. going to pit beef-worthy behaviors against each other, see if we can determine which ones are the most annoying. But whoever's wrong will have to eat some bad beef. You'll see what that is. It's time for Some Beef is Good, But Some is Bad. Let's hope we choose the good beef and not the one that resembles Granddad. All right, Josh, this is what we're going to be doing. The Mythical Crew went on Instagram and asked the Mythical Beast which of two beef-worthy behaviors they found more annoying. And so now we have to guess what the majority of our audience of Mythical Beast answer. Yes, so mm. which one they thought was more annoying. And each uh, answer is represented by a plate of some kind of beef. The plates are covered so we can't see what they look like, obviously. Now, if you make uh, the right choice, it's gonna be good beef, and if you make the wrong choice, it's gonna be bad beef, and I don't know what that is, but it's just gonna be a generally unpleasant experience for whoever eats that. Because we are gonna have to eat the beef that we've chosen. Sound good? Yeah, I'm agnostic when it comes to beef. I'm down to clown. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I like your attitude. <laughs> You're gonna clown with some nasty. It beef. is necessary for this. <laughs> show. I love it. Whoever guesses the majority of the rounds correctly will be named the ultimate beefcake, oh, and will also win a decorated beefcake. Let's All do right. it. Okay, guys, you ready for your first beef matchup? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Which did the mythical beasts have more beef with? Beasts and beef, man. It's gonna be a rough day. Beef, beef. When someone calls you and you miss the call but you call them back immediately, but they don't pick up. Oh, <laughs> have you tweeted about that? That hurts, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's or, hot. I rejection. know you're there. It's if rejection. I would have answered, we'd be talking right now. Okay, the, the second one. When someone doesn't mute their microphone on a video call and you can hear their background noise. Ooh. This, you know what? We wouldn't even have understood what this meant two years ago. We right. go, what do you mean? It's not that big of a deal. What? That never happens. <laughs> Thank you, coronavirus, for this great question. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. It, it does One feels like more personal rejection. So I think this is whether or not people are personally offended or whether or not they're just annoyed, right? And of course, we don't have to agree. Mm. We're all we're, choosing our own answer. We're all yeah. choosing, but I'm I'm open to any argument you want to make to help sway me, because I'd much rather be eating nasty beef with you than with nasty beard man. <laughs> it's so visceral, right? Because when you the fact that anyone's calling anyone today is huge, right? Because it's like a text, Ooh, right? Well. You want to text first. Yeah. If I'm calling, it's important. It must be something. Yeah. Pick and, up. And then when you call them right back, it tells you that it wasn't important. So it's mm -hmm. like, you got me scared. Yeah. It's like any phone call now is a reason to be like scared. It must be worst case scenario. Why would anyone want well, to if, have an audio? If you call them back and they don't, they don't answer, then yeah. oh, it must have not been important. Exactly, that's yeah. what's so annoying about it. It's like an emotional switch. Okay, Yeah. I see that. I'm still, I'm gonna go with the microphone on the video call because it is 
something that I encounter more often and is more annoying. It's like this, this not this. The call thing may happen once a year max. Now, yeah, reminder, guys, you, all the time? you might be more annoyed personally by one of these things, but you're trying to guess what more people Is are annoyed by. I just can't think that way, Stevie. <laughs> it's not a hint. I gotta, it was I not gotta a hint. do for me. Yeah, I just, I just assume that <laughs> the, the mythical beasts are for identifying week. with the way the way I all right. think. All right, let's. I'm ready. Okay, uh, three, two, one. Put your hand over the cloche. Already, you, you're doing it anyway. Okay. What, what? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I don't even know anymore. I thought you were with, <laughs> I'm with this. I thought you were with me. I'm with you. We no, hey, no, no, don't. Be, no. I think that the. <laughs> oh, really? Why Good. Are you the me, the meaning. The meaning is more annoying. Look, been, you did to me what the calls did to us. Oh wow! I'm an only child. I'm used to being lonely. So is he. <laughs> so am I. That's, oh, that's we should be uniting. I know. <laughs> Come on. Okay. All Great. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you guys locked in? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can remove your cloches. It'll be pretty immediate. Uh, oh. Well, oh, see, see, oh, you played us, bro. You dang, <laughs> son. I thought y'all got to eat. So, oh, that's, yeah. that's so, in a can. This was a really close one, guys. Yeah. 52% of the mythical bees said they'd have more beef with the people who don't mute their microphones. You know what? I'll, I'll take the prime rib. Uh, <laughs> what is the white stuff Ooh. on top of this one? Mold or fat? <laughs> Ooh, Hereford. I, I know it's a good brand. <laughs> it's a good brand. Not a sponsor. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> brand. It's, it's roast beef with gravy. Product of Brazil, international. Right, yeah, you guys are getting exotic over there. You know what? I'd love for you to have your own Thank fork. Thank you so much. God bless to That's all nice. of us. Really. This is nice and tender. How are you guys doing over if, there? If he were me, I wouldn't be as happy as he is right now for what I did to him. Happy you know? to be the second guest back. Sink it. Sink it. Mm. I mean, it's not like it's turned, but it's not great. Okay. Not terrible. All right, I'll save mine for later. <laughs> Put some aluminum foil over that. No offense to Brazil, That's for me. Wow. Okay, guys, that was easy. Let's do another one. Okay. So here are the two beefs. Which did the mythical beasts have more beef with? When you need your entire party to be present before being seated at a restaurant. Oh, this happened to me. Or week. parents who let their children treat a store like it's their playground. Oh, man, I used to be so judgmental of parents until I became one. You know, it's like now I just That's see, you now. I just see children who are not dead and I'm like, yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> yes. it's, it's just. Your son just turned three, you yes. told us, right? He's three and it's, having a child has made me even more judgmental. <laughs> oh, the opposite of <laughs> oh, that. Oh yeah, okay. I'm like, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> you got it together? Yeah, it's oh. Well, it's still early for you, I guess. I listen to my wife a lot. Hey, that's the key. Right? That's that's the key. That is a life philosophy I have to agree with. Okay, so you, so you don't let your kids run amok, or your son run amok mm. in like a department store. No, he's pretty good. I'll say his full like I find myself becoming my mother. I will say like Max Peck, and when he gets the full name, mm -hmm. he knows. Wow, okay. dad's ready. Okay, to start taking uh, and, away. And he's got a privilege. two syllable full name, just like his dad, which makes it extra convenient. Max Peck, it's just like Barry. Staccato. My parents had to say Rhett McLaughlin. <laughs> By the time they finished, I was in the next aisle. <laughs> I, I was not disciplined as a child. Charles Lincoln, Neil the Third. Okay, get yeah. in here. Never heard that. Um, Charles Lincoln. I don't know. This this happened to me recently, like last week, actually having to wait to be seated because we were waiting on Locke to show up to something. But it was annoying, but it wasn't like life altering. I mean, I kind of like that's it. out of control. I mean, it's, it, I know this is opposite of what I just said, but like. There is a point in which you're just like, just grab your kid and leave or something. But the, I get upset because I want to say to the restaurant folk who have their regulation, I want to say, listen, my friends are selfish. They're going to be 9 <laughs> to 18 minutes late. And I'm here. But the meal is going to begin. Drinks will be ordered. A uh, bread basket will be consumed. Nothing will be lost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, going to yeah. start this. I okay. like that. And that's why, yeah. Okay. So, you're, so you find it more... I, all right. All right. Well, I, I think we're ready. Yeah. You, you want a three, two, one this time? Yeah. Okay. Three, yeah. two, one. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so we're all, yeah, okay, yeah. we're all agents. You always say what, I think you're going the other way every time. You're like, right, we're in agreement. Sneaky, a little sneaky. I'm just a disagreeable person. Well, you can reveal it, but there's great news. 78% of the mythical beasts agreed with you and thought that yes! children oh, running amok that is more annoying. Vienna sausage was a punishment? <laughs> oh, it is, man. Vienna? Can I still eat it? <laughs> yeah, that's allowed. Uh, Vienna, that's how we say it back home. I'm not, I don't think I've ever had a Vienna, Vienna? Yeah, you, you, yeah. Vienna oh, sausage. Mean, hey, uh, pack, one one? Of these, pack one of these up for Josh. Yeah, so okay. here. That, that can go home with you. No, he wants one now. It's good television. It's good, yeah, right. it's good internet. Mm -hmm. Let's just see. They're not bad. My mom Ten swore by them. Ten of protein. Yeah, and my mom did call them Vienna sausages, by the way. <laughs> she didn't call them Vienna. Nope. They're just not doing it for you? This is what I get for being so <laughs> preoccupied with the bit. <laughs> no, I'm too committed. Yeah, right. You're exactly. not gonna swallow that. <laughs> uh, what about this? <laughs> well, well, leave I mean, it. Yeah, you can have a hot dog. Yeah. All right. Oh, you want to eat that too? Are yeah. we not gonna eat it? No. Oh, I did. No. This is your yeah, game. Listen. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we did guess correctly. Let's do it. Okay. This next one's pretty hard. Which did the mythical beasts have more beef with? Mm -hmm. People with trucks or SUVs that park in compact spots, leaving both spots next to them completely unusable. Okay. Okay. Or people who honk immediately after the light turns green. I mean, ever heard of pedestrian crossing? Uh-huh. Wow. Now, in this Ooh. town, where it seems like every parking space is a compact freaking parking space. Yes. I mean, I'm feeling for these people a little bit. Hold on, so you're this guy? Is that what you're saying? I've been this guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Yeah. I'm putting myself at more risk than annoying somebody else. Yeah, I'm that way with road rage, and I play this game with people called Who's Willing to Total Their Car? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I've won many times. Uh, so you, is it like a game of chicken? A little bit. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, how down are you? Like, I'm going to merge. Are you going to right. take the shoulder? Yeah, because I'm I'm an actor, so I don't have a nine to five, so I have time to work out this accident. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. It's like, yeah, I could be here. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing going on. Okay, so you know? on that, so <laughs> good point. What? How do you feel about the honkers then? So you you're you're laying on the honker. The honker is just an it's just such an aggressive. I feel like the space hogger passive. Yeah. The immediate honker, aggressive. Oh right? yes. yeah, because they're there, they're antagonist. present right behind you, and it's and it's it, it's like unsettling. Mm -hmm. Any, I mean, anytime I hear a horn honk, it's like, well, what did I do? It's like, it, it, you know, it, it, even if it's not your fault. So it kind of gets into your soul when somebody honks a horn. There's definitely right. a spike in the in the blood pressure and the heart rate when that happens. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, it seems like you're all agreeing, but let's see, three, two, one. Yep. Yeah, the yeah. honkers. Okay, it was a close one. You can re you can remove the cloches. Fifty five percent of the mythical uh, beasts yes! agreed yes! with you. They thought the immediate honkers were more annoying. Now, last time you guys both were, you know, you were tempted. No, 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 no. We don't need that. These, we got some tacos. Yeah. I don't know. This is some sort of bunker meat. <laughs> what is happening here? I think it's just canned ground beef. Ooh. Is it? It might cat be good. food. It's not cat food. It's ground beef. That's strange. But hey, I mean, oh, look at this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, little... Add a little. A little bite, a little citrus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you want some of this. A little bit goes a long way. A bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. You ever heard that? I have now. You've never heard that? A bushel and a peck? Not the whole thing. A bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck? Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's like, uh, that's what my mom used to tell me when she'd give me some sugar. <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay, it all comes down to this. Which did the mythical beasts have more beef with? Mm -hmm. People who constantly interrupt people as if they're the only ones Stevie? with important things to say. <laughs> right on cue. Mm -hmm. Or people who stop around all day proclaiming they're not mad when they're actually really, really mad, but will not tell you why. Ooh, wow, that's, <laughs> that is frustrating. What well, is, is what's immediately resonating with you or against you? I see myself in the silent stomper. I, okay. want, I want you to read my mind, know why I'm upset, and adjust without us ever talking. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You say that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not mad. 
It's all, all man. I'm just disappointed. It's, it's all good. Oh, that's a, oh. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. with a shoulder shrug? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, I, I, a, a couple of hundred was, of those. It was kind of threatening, that's honestly. That's pretty, yeah. yeah. It was a little threatening. <laughs> it's like, well, you're going to, I don't you, think he's good. You're going to road rage me? <laughs> Perhaps. Going back to that? <laughs> Serial interrupters, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little you know, self-conscious. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure you got a lot to say here. <laughs> yeah, especially on our podcast. Hosting a podcast I mean, with this man, yeah. It's not easy to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, to uh, uh, get my point across when there's a co-host, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, he, but like you, uh, only child, so he didn't have. So to, he, he doesn't have, have to. Yeah, so he, keep talking <laughs> yeah. right now. He didn't have to accommodate anybody else. I had to accommodate three other people in my house. He sure. had to accommodate just his mother, and she's so sweet. She gives him sugar all the time. <laughs> a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. And as it turns out, that ain't all. Chase, yeah. come on out here, educate us. Come on, Jay. Yeah, Why yeah. Is so far out? He told us as they were loading in the, the round, there's freaking... There's more to the rhyme. There, yeah, it's a full song. So you thought your grandparents made it up because they would tell you the song, mm -hmm. but then I told you today that your grandparents didn't make it up. <laughs> but but I learned that there's more to the song. Yeah, it's uh, I love you, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck, and a barrel and a heap, and I'm talking in my sleep about you. <sighs> okay, wow. it kind of fizzles wow. out. Your grandparents <laughs> definitely wrote the second half. <laughs> <laughs> Bushel and a peck and a hug around a neck. Yeah. yeah. And what? And a barrel and a heap. And I'm talking, talking about my sleep. sleep. About so like, you. There's a bushel. On, it's almost like a Russian nesting doll situation. Yeah, yeah. It's a Russian there's phrase. A pack, there's a barrel and a heap. Well, then I, I I'm out. Okay. Talking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. It's kind of like ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Yeah. Right. On a string at Burger King. Right. It yeah. Can keep going. On a string at Burger King yeah. was like it. added by another set of grandparents. Right. Exactly. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'm okay though. Uh, I know which I'm one mad. I'm more annoyed by, so I'm I am, I'm ready to lock my guess in. Wow. All right, let's see it. Three, two, one. Yeah, I gotta uh, go. Okay. Oh, we're splitsies here. You can reveal the beef, but oh that looks no, nice. that looks wonderful. And that Seventy-five percent of the that mythical one... beasts have more beef with uh, serial interrupters. Did that expand to that height, or did it just you rip something off the top of it? Oh, it's corned beef. You guys are in for a treat. Mm -hmm. I wonder what percentage of that seventy-five percent are interrupters and they don't know it, because that was me. Sure. No, I see that. I'm just gonna like bite these like a, like oh. It's like a push pop. This is a real corned beef sandwich. <laughs> it's like a keto push pop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I lick it, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's salty. <laughs> that rye bread. You know, I didn't have to eat anything <laughs> bad, guys, except for the Viena, which I chose. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you oh. definitely won. Give Rat his prize. <laughs> It's trouble. He gets to be named the ultimate beef cake. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. And wow. receives a beef cake. Mm. Can we wrap this up and put it with my Viena sausages? <laughs> no, no, no. You, you're going to have to eat that in Good Mythical more. Okay. Josh, this has been super fun. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. You've been a great sport. You can, I mean, you can keep licking that the whole time if you want to. Okay, sure. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll lick it through, throughout the outro. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and be sure to uh, catch Josh on How I Met Your Father Tuesdays on Hulu, and he's got a new book coming out March 15th. Fittingly, happy people are annoying. Mm-hmm. All right, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. I'm a Sawyer. I'm currently flying over... Burbank, California, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Sawyer's I, the one that's always screwing saw, up our shots when we were outside it. shooting. It's Up like, oh, there. hold for sound. Sawyer's flying over again. <laughs> Get out of our airspace, Sawyer. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us squash some beefs we've got with people in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality's gonna land. Color your little heart out with a mythical coloring book available now at mythical.com.